Hey, right, hello. This is a uh, Garage Factory SD. I'm going to perform an AC recovery on the RSX. So the plan is to get all the refrigerant out so I can clear up all of the vapor and fluids and be able to take out my condenser. So I got the Master Cool Kit from Amazon. Comes with the tank, the recovery unit, and all these piping. I had to pick up a vacuum pump from Harbor Freight. It's a 2.5 CFM vacuum pump. It's pretty important to gear up so I have the, the heavy duty gloves, safety glasses, and an N95 mask. So I have it connected to recovery, this T fitting. I have the red pipe for the gas, low pressure, and then the red for the liquid high pressure. Right now it's connected to the vacuum pump which I will um, vacuum out all the contaminants in air. So uh, to do that I have to tighten all these knobs. And then uh, turn on the vacuum. The vacuum switches back here. It should be sucking everything up to here. Up to here. And then, open this. and then I can open this. So to test I'll maybe I'll open this. Make sure that it's sucking on the side. Okay, so I'll leave the vacuum on for a bit while I connect the, the hoses. Um, the blue one should connect here. I don't know why my cap is missing. And then the red one connects here. Everything's snug and tight. Don't want no leaks anywhere. The refrigerant is a very nasty type of gas. Very bad for the atmosphere. Also to know, I uh, recorded the weight on my tank, 18.1 pounds. Also I vacuumed the nitrogen out earlier. And then there's a special add-on which will determine the 
fill capacity, which is up to 80%. Okay, go back here. So uh, I'll unscrew this and touch this. So I should pull, insert. Okay, it's a little tricky to put on, but pull it, let it click in, give it a little tug to make sure that it's seated in. And for the other side, try to do the same thing. Okay. These are uh, designed so that they connect to the right spots. Okay, so I'm done vacuuming. I'm gonna close this valve so that it vacuums up to this point. And close some of these ports. Okay, these are closed. Be sure to do everything very carefully. One step at a time. Now I will... Oh shoot. So uh, I'm gonna have to re-vacuum. -vac I accidentally touched this. So it's purging or taking out the air. To here. Wait a couple of minutes. So it's really good to refer to this diagram here. So I connected the high side to the red, low side to the blue. Connects to this T-fitting. Um, the outlet will connect to the recovery tank. I'll set this up so that it vacuums all this out already. Here a little light pressure change. Change this here. Okay, now um, now this is the part to get this started. A little nervous, but um, 
Open the vapor valve on the recovery tank. Turn the red color to open position. Turn this to open position. And then turn on the recovery system. Okay, so I'll do that. Open up these ports. So first open up this one. Open, turn the outlet on to open, turn the blue one to open, and then turn the switch on. Okay, a little nervous, but I could try it. Okay. I'll open these valves. And I hope it's doing its thing now. Everything's open. on recovery. It is open here. A little bit of high pressure. This is negative pressure.
that this is a drying out refrigerant. And I think it's going. The process will be around 8 to 28 minutes. So I'm going to let it run for 28 minutes. go for 28 minutes and hope you enjoy this live stream bye